Hello students, this is a continuation of our previous lecture on problems on arithmetic operations which is on fuzzy numbers. So we were dealing with this problem where we had a of x and b of x and we had to find all these four operations. So already we have found alpha cut of a plus b. So this is done. So now in this video we will find alpha cut of a minus b alpha cut of a multiplied with b and alpha cut of a divided by b. So for this, first of all, let us take and write what is alpha cut of a and what is alpha cut of b, which we have already seen in our previous video. So now we have to find alpha cut of a minus b. So by the formula, what is alpha cut of a minus b? It is equal to alpha cut of a minus alpha cut of b. So now let us substitute alpha cut of A here and alpha cut of B here and let's see what we get. So therefore alpha cut of A minus B will be equal to alpha cut of A that is this interval. So 2 alpha minus 1 comma 3 minus 2 alpha then minus alpha cut of B that is this interval. So 2 alpha plus 1 comma 5 minus 2 alpha. Now by the definition of arithmetic operations on intervals, uh, interval A minus interval B we have to do, which is equal to, what we have to do is we have to first subtract this value and this. So what do we get? 2 alpha minus 1 minus, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, because we have a negative sign here. So I will write it, 2 alpha minus 1 minus 5 minus multiplied with minus plus 2 alpha comma next we have to subtract this so this and this so 3 minus 2 alpha minus 2 alpha minus 1 and so that will be equal to 4 alpha minus 6 comma here we have minus 4 alpha and then 3 minus 1 is plus 2 Rewriting this, we get this to be equal to 4 alpha minus 6 comma 2 minus 4 alpha, where alpha is an element of open interval 0 comma closed interval 1. So every time when we write this interval with respect to alpha, we should not forget to write alpha an element of open 0 and closed 1. So this is alpha cut of A minus B. So we have found the second part. That is, we have found alpha cut of A minus B. So, this is done. Now, next we have to find alpha cut of A multiplied with B. Let us see that now. So, now here we have to find alpha cut of A multiplied with B. So, now by the definition, we know that this is equal to alpha cut of A multiplied with alpha cut of B. Now, uh, already we have alpha cut of A. It is the interval 2 alpha minus 1 comma 3 minus 2 alpha. This interval has to be multiplied with the interval alpha B. That is 2 alpha plus 1 comma 5 minus 2 alpha. Now let us multiply these two by using the concept of arithmetic operations on intervals. So as per the definition it will be uh, closed interval minimum of so minimum of what first this multiplied with this so 2 alpha minus 1 multiplied with 2 alpha plus 1 which will be 4 alpha squared minus 1 using a a plus b and a minus b when we multiply it will be equal to a squared minus b squared so using that form so next we have to multiply this with this that is 2 alpha negative 1 multiplied with 5 minus 2 alpha so when we multiply those two, after multiplying and simplifying that, we see that we get minus 4 alpha squared plus 12 alpha minus 5. In a similar manner, we have to multiply this with this and then after that, I am sorry, uh, this we have already done, uh, not this one. We have to multiply this with this and then this with this and right here. So after multiplying this with this, we get minus 4 alpha squared plus 4 alpha plus 3. And then multiplying 3 minus 2 alpha with 5 minus 2 alpha, 
we get 4 alpha squared minus 16 alpha plus 15 comma maximum of the same values so we get this now in order to find the minimum of all these four values and the maximum of these values we have to uh, substitute values of alpha and check for it we know that alpha is an element of open 0 and closed 1 so what we can do we can substitute 1 by 1 values in this interval and we can check it I leave it as a homework for you so what you should do is uh, 0 you need not substitute next you can substitute alpha equal to 0 0.1 uh, throughout and you can check which is the minimum of those values and which is the maximum similarly you can substitute alpha equal to 0 0.2 and, uh, and then you can check uh, what is mean which is minimum and what is maximum so when you check like that till uh, alpha equal to 1 you can uh, make up a check and when you check like that in general you see that uh, this one actually uh, that is there are two possibilities that is this interval you will be able to divide as 2 0 comma 0 0.5 and then you can uh, divide it in this way like we can include it in the first one and then 0 0.5 to 1 because till here the minimum and maximum value differ and after this the, in this interval the minimum value and maximum value differs you try it by yourself and check it out so what do we finally get is we get two possibilities where in between 0 and 0 0.5 the minimum value is this minus 4 alpha squared plus 12 alpha negative 5 so this will become the minimum value in that case so it will be interval minus 4 alpha squared plus 12 alpha minus 5 comma the maximum value in this interval will be this value that is 4 alpha squared minus 16 plus 15 so in the interval 0 comma uh, 0 0.5 so this is for open z i mean alpha alpha an element of open 0 comma closed 0 0.5 we get this interval and after that for the next from 0 0.5 to 1 we exclude 0 0.5 and after that 0 0.6 0 0.7 so next next values you can just substitute and check it out so in that case what do we get is we get the minimum value to be 4 alpha squared minus 1 so 4 alpha squared minus 1 comma and the maximum value the same here 4 alpha squared minus 16 plus 15 so this is for alpha an element of open 0 0.5 comma closed one so uh, these are the two possibilities that we arrive so therefore alpha cut of a multiplied with b is this in a similar way we can find for alpha cut of a divided by b so that will be uh, the interval so now we have to uh, check here so that will be the interval that is what is the interval a it is 2 alpha minus 1 comma 3 minus 2 alpha this interval divided by the interval 2 alpha plus 1 comma 5 minus 2 alpha so by using the minimum and maximum uh, thing in a similar manner we can find and uh, what we get what we arrive at is so this is what we get so in between the interval 0 and 0 0.5 we get this and in the interval 0 0.5 to 1 we get this to be the minimum value and this to be the maximum value hope you have understood this concept this is how we deal with arithmetic operations on fuzzy numbers so we had two fuzzy numbers a of x and b of x and we have done all four arithmetic operations upon these fuzzy numbers so this is done and this is also done. Thank you.